I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. Okay, so today is a viewer question, and uh, one of my viewers, Double Libra, thank you very much, Double Libra, by the way, um, has asked, are the kids uh, going to pay? Uh, you know, are they going to be accountable? I forget her exact questions, but it was, it was all around that. You know, are they going to fall for this thing? So uh, it's a great question. I mean, I've not asked it directly, so that's what it'll be today. I'm going to do them in separate videos, each of the, of the kids, but let me tell you about the kids. I don't have a long dissertation about them because I don't want to get all that energy all over me. But uh, the oldest right now, Donald John Trump Jr., the kid. You know how old the kid is? He's 43. He'll be 44 this year. That's the kid. These are not kids. These are fully formed adults making completely adult, their choice decisions about how they're leading their lives. Uh, he was born on December 31st of 1977, so that makes him a Capricorn. So today it's going to be Donald John Trump Jr., 43-year-old Capricorn. All right, so Donald John Trump Jr., born 12-31-1977, Capricorn, 43 years old. These are not children. These are middle-aged people who've been making these corrupt decisions for the majority for all of their adult life. So here we go. And I thought I'd use some very uh, clear uh, decks on this. Um, I also added to uh, Double Libra's question, thank you again Double Libra, about uh, whether they're going to fall, is um, uh, I've added to that, I want to know when. So I'm going to use these numerology cards, but I'm just going to use them because they've got nice numbers on them, and I'm going to use those numbers to help me determine if it's going to be a year, months, uh, I think those are the two uh, measures that we use, year or months. So we'll see how that goes. This is my one of my favorite decks, so now I have several favorite decks. And uh, that's a nice place to be in, having several favorite decks to use. But this is a Smithwaite uh, Tarot deck, the Centennial Edition. And what's special about these cards is they are um, supposedly the most true uh, depictions of Pamela Coleman Smith's, and that's her uh, signature there, Pamela Coleman Smith, uh, um, original art for the uh, interpretation of these cards as um, decided by uh, weight. So these are the cards. They're a little, um, I don't want to say they're not muted, but they've got this, this grayish overtone to them, which is a little mysterious, and I kind of like that. So these are the ones we're going to use for Donald Jr., Donnie Trump Jr., 43, did I say 43 years old? You know, why are we calling these, these kids? These are not kids. These are adults who've been making these adult decisions for a lot, a lot, a lot of years. You know, at any time, someone can say, hey, this doesn't seem to be uh, the right thing to do, and I'm not going to do it anymore. But uh, that makes him a Capricorn, I guess. He's a Capricorn. And um, I'm sorry for all you other Capricorns out there that are born on the same uh, birth date. <laughs> well, hopefully, you're not going down this same road. So, Donald John Trump Jr. Donald John Trump Jr. 43 year old Capricorn are you going to be made accountable for all the crimes you've committed Donald John Trump jr. will you be made accountable for all the crimes you committed Donald John Trump jr. will you be accountable for all the crimes you committed and if the cards can let us know how you'll be accountable that would be icing on the, on the cake okay so here we go for Donald John Trump Jr., full Celtic cross, and then a little numerology uh, uh, pull at the end. So we'll take six cards in the beginning for this Celtic cross. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Is this uh, microphone in the picture? I guess it is. I'm going to move it slightly out of the picture because I'm, I'm hitting it with my finger, and that's not good. Uh, we'll use... Uh, some of uh, these cards to finish off the uh, Celtic cross in a minute. So the question is, Donald John Trump Jr., are you going to be held accountable 
uh, for the crimes you've committed in your 43 years. My goodness. The signifier card for this, ooh, long-term planning. So this is a signifier for, not for Donald Trump, but for this question. And the question is, are you gonna be accountable? And this says long-term planning. You know, ones are uh, actions, uh, motions, uh, plans, and this uh, uh, three of wands uh, always speaks to us of uh, making plans into the future. So three of wands. Now the three could be significant of how long he's going to spend in jail uh, in months or years. It could be significant of when this is going to happen in months or years. Or it may not be any significance at all. It may just help us to understand that these three of wands uh, always talk to us about long-term plans. So keep all of that in mind. So uh, three of wands. The challenge to this three of wands, the question of whether he's going to be made accountable for his crimes, is the queen of wands. The Queen of Wands. How is the Queen of Wands going to uh, work into this uh, answer? Well, let's talk about what the Queen of Wands is. The Queen of Wands, of course, again, are motion, action, planning, fire. Uh, the Queen of Wands uh, could say to us that, yeah, the Queen of Wands is fully in charge of making sure that this plan uh, gets played out. And that's how that seems it would be to me. So the challenge to the challenge to the the signifier of if he'll be made to um, to be accountable for his crimes is the queen of action the queen of action and this could even be um, you know the courts uh, making that decision about um, his about these plans that's very interesting so the base of this reading about whether he'll be held accountable ah is the eight of cups and you know the eight of cups is uh, you know having to turn away f away from, have to walk away from some emotional value that you have, and uh, for me uh, that sounds uh, like uh, this is leaning in the direction of yes, he is going to have to uh, walk away from those things he holds emotionally uh, valuable. And what are they? Because I guess they could be his kids, uh, because he's uh, has he already divorced the wife or is divorcing the wife, and he's going out with this other woman uh, from television. Uh, so let's see the past. Of this reading for the question will this trump donald jr 43 year old capricorn will he be made accountable for his crimes is the king of pentacles so in the past i would say yeah he's been the king of coin in his little in his little world in the future for this question ah okay that's the seven of swords and the seven of swords is uh theft and betrayal and uh, sneaking away uh with the with the truths with the justices hmm it looks to me like this could uh, be it for Don Jr. And then the likely outcome for this first part of this question about whether he'll, 44-year-old Don Trump Jr. will be held accountable for his actions um, is, oh my gosh, what better card than judgment? Yes, he will be held accountable for his actions. That's a definite. So let's drill down a little bit more and just see what, what the cards are willing to tell me because this is fascinating. Okay, so I'm going to take these cards over here and give them a spread. And we're going to take um, four cards to finish off this Celtic cross. The first of those cards is going to be right here. And that's the self of this question. And this, the question is, will he be made to be held accountable for his actions? And the three of coins, which is what this card is, uh, speaks to um, cooperation, working together to, uh, to, to work on something for public display. This is how it uh, interprets for me. It may interpret differently for other readers, but this seems to be the significant uh, interpretation of this card that I have quite often. So so if there are folks who are indeed working together towards um, uh, this, for this to happen. Okay, and that's happening right now. This is now, this is the long-term outcome, possibilities that can happen. And this is what's going on right now at this moment. What is this in the environment of these cooperations into putting something up for public display? What's the environment of that? The environment of that is the star. Wow. The star uh, talks to us about um, really, um, just like it said, just being the, 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 the height of, of, of uh, visibility. You know, really the one who's going to um, stand out and show us uh, what they what they what, what they are. The star stands for guidance and seeking answers, relief and harmony and insight. So that seems just right to me. 
the environment that this is in is an environment of seeking answers. The likely, uh, the hopes and the fears for whether um, this Donald John Trump Jr., 43-year-old 40, Capricorn, uh, is the hopes and the fears. Okay, the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups talks to us about, you know, how things were in the past. Um, reminiscing of family reunions. Oh, family reunions. Now, isn't that interesting? So the hopes and the fears is that we have a family reunion in jail, I guess. I shouldn't say that. But, you know, okay, then the, 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 the final outcome of this, uh, of this reading then is going to be what? The Page of Wands. So we're back to Wands, back to planning. And uh, so the Page of Wands uh, tells us that this is someone who is just in, you know, it's the beginning of a plan. It's the beginning of getting something uh, done. And um, so this is just the, the least uh, significant of the court cards, but it's just the beginning. It's, uh, it's usually good news. And uh, good news for us would be that he does pay for those those uh, those uh, sins really so I'm gonna say yeah it looks like Donnie is definitely gonna pay for what he's done but now let's do this let's see uh, with the numerology cards uh, what they give us as far as a timeline and uh, I'm gonna have to say you know they've got some nice messages on here but I think we're going to just not try to pay much attention to these messages and try to see what the numbers tell us either about when he's going to um, be held accountable for, for all this, or, um, well, that's just it, when, you know, and it, whether it's months or years, uh, we'll see uh, what comes out there. So, Donald John Trump Jr., 44-year-old Capricorn, 43-year-old Capricorn, are you going to be made accountable for what you've done, Mr. Donnie Trump Jr.? Are you going to be made accountable? And not only that, in what period of time are you going to be made accountable for that? In what period of time are you going to be made accountable for that? Um, let's see what this tells us. I think this is going to tell us when he's going to be made accountable for it, not how long he's going to spend uh, um, atoning for his sins. In other words, locked up or, or fighting anything. So um, when, when are you going to then in fact go to trial or maybe even be convicted of what you've done? Oh boy, this is a strange one. I'm going to blue dome like this, and I'm going to take one card, and hopefully this is what's going to give us the answer. Okay, when are you going to be made accountable for what you've done? Well, it may have to work the numerology numbers down to a single number, so let's see what we get. Okay, we get the 46. Uh, 6 and 4 is 10. 0 and 1 is 1. I would say that um, one doesn't seem like a likely number because that would be one month, although it could be one year. Ten seems to me a more likely number, and I'm going to say that in ten months, the six and the four, uh, that's when he's going to be made accountable for his uh, for his sins. So that was a pretty interesting uh, read for 44 year old. Donald Trump Jr., Capricorn, um, if he's going to be made accountable for his for his sins, and um, so for the, for the reading, uh, it was pretty clear that that's definitely going to happen. Um, uh, judgment for me is the uh, appro is the key card in the whole uh, spread for me, and then I'm going to cover up. Well, no, then when I I drew my numerology cards to try to see when is that going to happen, and. Uh, 46 is a number that doesn't seem to work in terms of of when he would happen. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot of months in the future. Certainly, a lot of years in the future. But if you add the six and the four together, you've got a ten. Ten months seems more uh, like like likely. Uh, if you add the one and the zero from the ten, you get down to one. So that could be a year, which is in line with ten months. So I would say ten months to a year uh, is when uh, uh, we're going to see some justice uh, for for him. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now.